Oh, 07 Commanders, I haven't really played Odyssey for a while now, so I think it's time to dust off my boots and get back into the game. Right now, I have no idea where I am right now, and I'm on this random station in this random system with only 150,000 credits. So I think it's a good time to clear the save and get a fresh start. Alright, now we create our character. And we're done creating the character, it's time to create the commander. Here we are. So I'm retiring as a soldier. Interesting. It's a little plant. Two little plants. And there we go. We're in the first building. Here's the SRV, and now we're gonna break into it. There's a power regulator. Is there's the power regulator. There we go. We got the power regulator now. We'll charge up the door first, and then we can grab one and use one. Cut up in the panel. Almost done. There we go. Now, charge the mechanism, like last time. That did the trick. Hope you don't overcharge doors as your first move every time. Alright, we have to place the regulator into the housing. Alright, three, two, one. This will bring the settlement back online. It's going in. Here comes the reactor. Now we have to go to the command center. Oh, we need to charge up the battery. Thirty seconds. Uh oh, the ship is coming in. If you look hard enough, it's right there. Looks a bit like a vulture as well, or uh, a viper. I'm not sure which one, but oh, it is a viper. All right. Shield on. Let's go. Time for some combat. Ah. Alright, that's three down, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, there's more coming in. No, oh, grenade. Alright, that didn't get me. Shield's going down. We gotta reload. Cover. Recharge shield. Oh, there's a person right there. There's three left. Oh no, we have to reload. Point and blank really does some damage. You got him. There they are, ran in a punch. There we go, and we're done. Dylan Silk with the Cobra Mark IV. You can tell pretty easily that it's a Mark IV by how it looks. Front has two extra like things sticking out, and uh, the engine, like the, the thing surrounding the engine, looks a bit different. If I remember correctly, the Cobra Mark IV is actually exclusive to some kind of uh, thing. I think you need to have uh, Horizons before it went free, and then you could get a Cobra Mark IV. But the Cobra Mark III is still superior in pretty much every way. It even has more cosmetics. 
jumping 40 light years? What is this jump range? Let's see. 65 light years jump range. That's insane. And there we go. Our first hyperspace jump for the day. Probably will make some more as time goes on. Eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred. We can already see the blip on the horizon, and it's sunset right now. You can see the atmosphere, or you can kind of see the atmosphere right now. This is the final approach. Coming into land. And there we go. Landing during a sunset. Very nice. Perfect landing. Salute. And there we go. Alright, now we're in the concourse of Chamberlain's Rest. This place is nice. Um, we can't go to our ship just yet. We need to go to Interastra for that. Um, we'll go there later. But first, let's take a look around the starport. So, well, I should say surface port, not starport, because this isn't a starport. We're not in the stars yet. So, here we are, Chamberlain's Rest. This is the um, combat, I guess, person. We can turn in combat bonds, or if there's a war, we can enlist over here. Um, here we have the Apex Interstellar, this is the taxi service, uh, over here there's just the elevators for those, and a nice view overlooking the whole place. And if we go down, Zorgon Peterson, that's the, uh, Memba, oh, wait no, that's not the Memba, that's the Fertilands, whoops, um, and here we've got a mission giver, there's another mission giver there, this is... Vista Genomics, which will come here um, in another episode to turn in biodata for uh, the uh, Artemis suit. There's a genetic scanner, and we can turn in the data over here for money. And it looks pretty nice, very sterile. I guess that's the way to describe it. This is the bar. There's some more mission givers around here. You can sit in the bar stools like this. And as you can see, that's the bartender, Trading, selling, you can uh, trade and sell commodities, goods, assets, no all of that stuff. Me. There's a nice view overlooking the city as well, as you can see it's night right now. You can see some nebula in the skybox. And then over here we've got the Pioneer Supplies. I actually filmed one of my opening shots in Pioneer Supplies just on that random station that I didn't know where I was at. As you can see those are the boots, those are the boots as well. Um, you can buy suits, weapons. Um, sometimes there's pre-upgraded suits around here, and um, also stuff like uh, grenades and energy cells and all of that stuff. And in Anarchy Systems, you can also buy e-breaches from uh, the Pioneer Supplies. There's also some terminals scattered around. There's little terminal hubs like these, and these, and there's another one, another terminal hub back here. Upstairs, there's also a couple of terminals. I'm not sure where exactly, but lastly, we've got the um, Interastra. This is the ship, I guess. How do you call it? Um, this is the ship dealer. You can actually change the ship that's being shown on the um, hologram. And we're going to go do the ship tutorial now because we Welcome want our Sidewinder. And here we are, Moss and Dock again. And take a look at this. What an amazing view. Sun rising over a planet. Very nice. Remarkable, isn't it? For so long, humanity gazed up at the stars in wonder. We're not distracted by one of Earth's many wars. And now, we glide between them without a second thought. Before you start shooting, however, try analyzing the megaship with a data link scanner. Alright. Hard points, target, and scan.
There we go. Very good. Well done. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit closer for the uh, multi cannon and burst laser to have, or be more effective, I should say. There we go, 105. Two or five. Your cannon will automatically reload. Three or five. Meanwhile, your laser Four or five. Capacitor is depleted. And will need to five or five. Right. We're getting close. We're getting close. Open fire. Target destroyed. Very nice. nice work. This one is shielded, so instead of wasting our ammo, I think we should use our burst laser. Ah, flew past us. We have to do a little loop. Just like this. Get the shield down. And then cut through its hull like butter. Easy. Ah, there we go. Cut through his hull like butter. And there we go. That was the last target. Alright, very good. We are now here. In the partially unloaded um surface port. Same surface port as before, except guess what? Now we've got access to our sidewinder. Very good. But the first thing that we gotta do is we're gonna go down to um Pioneer Supplies, and we're gonna upgrade that little pea shooter by our side to a laser weapon. Upgrades, whatever you want, so what are you after today? Let's see the weapons. We're gonna buy a TK Zenith. This is a little laser pistol, and it can actually go through shield instead of the Karma P15, which can not go through shields. Alright, buy weapon. I'm hoping that this is a good decision. We're gonna go change our loadout. Oh yeah, we also need an energy cell, which is gonna be in the consumable section. One of them for 1,000 credits. Alright. Now, in our terminal, go to the edit loadout section. And then, as you can see, Karma P15. We don't like that. And this bland outfit is just completely black. It doesn't even... Like, it doesn't have any extra colors. It doesn't have anything really interesting about it. And it doesn't match the backpack. So we're also going to change that in the suit cosmetics. TK Zenith. That's our pistol. Very good. It hasn't changed yet, but we have to save and exit first. Suit cosmetics. And in the suit cosmetics, I have one cosmetic which I got from Twitch Drops. In the flight suit, all of these are just basic colors. You can get these um, for free. They're all available at the beginning. And here we have the purple explorer outfit. Oh, that's not the purple explorer. Alright. As you can see, it matches pretty well with the outfit. And we don't need any decals yet, we don't have any ranks really, so we just gotta turn away and wait for it to load. Let's take a look at what we look like now. And there you have it, that's what we look like. But now, we're gonna change the look of our Sidewinder as well. So let's head into our hangar and do a bit of outfitting. The default livery of the Sidewinder is a white and red livery. Now, that's pretty good, but I do want to change it. The livery is pretty much just the paint of the spacecraft. Or in real life, it's just the paint of the um, of some kind of vehicle. So, as you can see, we have the Scarab SRV, which is inside the Sidewinder. We're going to change the livery of the Sidewinder first to this livery, which... Uh, should be here anytime soon, paint job. 
and Sidewinder Emergence. I usually call my Sidewinders in Fresh Elite Danger Saves the Swan, but now that it's um, black and yellow, or it's supposed to be black and yellow, but now it's like a dark gray and orange, it's black and yellow in Horizons, we're gonna call it the Black Swan. And there we go. And for the front decal, um, I'm gonna add an A, because my name is Ayan, and my commander's name is Astro, so yeah. Oh, we also have to do the SRV Scarab. I've got a paint job for it, but um, it's pretty basic, it just makes it look a bit darker. As you can see, it's gonna change all of these metallic accents over here to, I guess, a painted over version of it. And there we have it, that's the tactical graphite. I bought it a while back along with a tactical graphite for um, a Cobra Mark III that I had back then, so that's why I have this, just to match the colors of the ship and the uh, paint job. We're also going to put the same decal over here, perfect. I actually got this um, Brewer, I guess, decal from a community goal a while back. Alright, so I just got this opportunity mail. A new opportunity, and I can get 10,000 credits apparently. If we go to this certain station over here in Arafoma, um, only 598 light seconds away and do a mission or something. Um, we'll check that in just a little bit, but for now, I think it's a good time to do some basic missions. Um, we're gonna try out our Sidewinder, try out the controls, and... Um, first, I, I actually want to add a um, two-ton cargo rack, because two tons is just not enough, so we gotta increase that to four. I haven't gotten much money for anything else anyways, so it'd be best to upgrade what I can right now. Alright, 1,000 credits. Not bad. Now I only have 198,000. At least I have credits, unlike the previous try at this. Alright, now we're here, we're gonna head back into the concourse, and hopefully, we can get some stuff done. This pad is much too big for my little sidewinder. Ooh, look, there's another commander. Is it the same one? Yeah, I think it's the same one. Alright, now, let's take a look at some missions that we've got around here. First, we're gonna check out the mission givers, then after that, we're gonna check out the mission board. The mission board is usually non-negotiable, so... We check out the mission givers first. Not this. You won't just be doing me a favor. This is probably not a delivery mission. Except for the delivery of death, of course. I've got to take care of this. Ah. Won't forget in a hurry. Delivery mission. Very good. Okay. So here's a bit more about the job. Let's see how much it pays. 60k? Not bad. You have everything you need? Good. All right, next one off the books, as in what? Absolutely not. All right, let's check out the mission board. Um, transportation, blah blah blah. Ooh, these are all pretty close. Not bad. All right, we're gonna accept all of these missions. All right, these missions should net us a good amount of credits. I've got my trusty sidewinder, so let's go. Here we go. Ah, mission critical message, a new opportunity. It appears you've launched and are heading out on your first journey as a licensed commander. Hopefully you're considering coming to Arafoma to take advantage of our offer. In the meantime, should you wish to practice any specific areas of piloting a ship, check out the training simulation, blah blah blah, alright. And off we go. Let's take a look from this perspective, you can see the city, it's right there, and it's gonna slowly disappear. If it was on the night side of the planet, you would be able to see a little dot on the horizon, a little bright dot on the horizon, that's just settlement artificial lighting. Getting close, 200 kilometers. Alright. We are about here, uh, missions updated, that's usually just giving us the details of who to give it to, but we already know it's going to be marked for us um, on one of the terminals, we just have to select it, find it on the compass, and head over. 
Alright, this settlement is pretty small, so should be easy to find whoever it is that we're trying to find. Alright, there's a terminal, just like I expected. Benner, Benny Becker, seems like security. Right here. Alright, whoops. Expecting a delivery. Would you know anything about that? So it would seem. And off we go. Did you like that shot? Three, two, one, engage. And off we go. You can see the craters around. planet has seen a rough history. And down we go. Like before, we're going to aim just a little bit above the um, target indicator. As you can see, this place has a lot of craters. And there we have it, it's the second mission, we refuel first, and we're gonna head off into the settlement. This settlement is also not too big, but it is a little bit bigger than the last one, so we're gonna try and find the person um, as fast as possible, and give them the package. Here they are. Yes, please take it. Let's head back to our ship. Whoops. We'll see how this goes. There's a good amount of buildings here. You can see a bit of terraforming that has been done with the nearby terrain. Alright, we're here now. And I saw a bit of uh, plant life over there, I wanted to check it out. Hmm, interesting. Looks a bit like, um, something similar in shape to an aloe vera. With, like, thicker leaves and some, some of these little, like, flower things coming out. Oh, and there's also a bacteria. Aha, there they are. Not a fan of personal space, are you? Oh, you're here for the handover, sure. And there we go. There's another settlement that we have to visit on the same exact moon. Let's see. Ah, they salute back as well. Very nice. All right, let's see. Where is our ship? And off we go again. For the final delivery mission, hopefully. And there we go. Like usual, we're gonna aim just a little bit above. But this time, I think we'll be able to get it perfect. Eight, seven. Yeah, we got a perfect approach on the final mission. All right, slow down. 
we're out of dock. Computer's gonna take over for us. And it looks like this settlement is only one building or two, I don't know. Never mind, it's a ton of mining facilities scattered around with a couple of main buildings. Wait a second. These aren't mining buildings, these are little like agricultural tents. Interesting. Ah, I should have expected that. Horticultural biosphere. Obviously something for agriculture. Or horticulture, I suppose. Long name. Let's find Kendrick Sweet. There they are. Level 3 access, that's not a very good sign. Ah, they're up there. Alright. How do I deliver this package? Alright, can you like, move forward? Nice. I've waiting for you. And being honest, I've wasted time in better settlements than this one. All wrapped up nicely for you. Don't drop it. Nice, we got it. Those are the last of the missions. And we're gonna head back to Chamberlain's Rest to collect our rewards. And we're actually getting a good approach this time. We're not gonna overshoot, I don't think. Dropping from orbital cruise. Should be there pretty soon. Perfect approach. Ah. We got the docking bay 07. What a nice coincidence. Let's see if we can get a good shot. A good camera shot. Where is the 07? There we go. Now we disembark. Alright, here in the concourse. Time to head over to a terminal and get ourselves some space bucks. Or in Kerbal tem terminology, Spesos. Let's complete the missions. One. Grab the credits. We're at 250,000 now. Mostly penniless. Describes us pretty well. 73,000. Now we're at 330,000. That's a lot of cheddar. But not enough. And 55,000. Now we're at 383,000. Good to see you, Commander. You just made yourself a friend for life. Credits. We got some extra. Feels good making a difference, doesn't it? Very nice. Did I accept any other missions? I don't think so. We're at 450,000 credits. That's that's pretty good, I think. So now we're gonna get a a um, nice loadout. We're not gonna get the Artemis suit, which is the one that's over here. We're gonna get ourselves a Maverick suit. That's the suit that was used in the tutorial. But we can only get a grade 1 Maverick because we only have 400,000. Alright. Maverick suit, we're gonna grab that. Very nice. I'm sure you'll put all that extra carrying capacity to good use. Just be careful with the arc cutter. It'll cut through just about anything. And we're also going to get ourselves a TK Aphelion, which is the one that we used in the tutorial as well. It's a nice, nice energy weapon. Yes, if you're up against shielded tar, sure you have got come back anytime. And for this loadout, we are going to use the... Um, Let's, let's edit the loadout. I don't have any cosmetics for the Maverick suit because they cost a lot of arcs, but let's take a look at the um, Maverick. the suit. There we go. We're gonna use TK Aphelion for our primary weapon and the Karma P15 as our secondary weapon. I did tell you this is a little pea shooter but it's only a pea shooter against shields. It blasts through bodies like no other. 
So let's save this loadout as the Maverick. We'll rename this once we have multiple Maverick loadouts and um, upgraded Maverick suits and blah blah blah. But right now we only have one Maverick suit, one primary weapon, and two secondary weapons. So this is going to be a good loadout um, for now. And now we've got a little smirk on our face because we just spent 300,000 credits on a suit. And there we go. Oh, I see some chat messages. Ah, very nice. We got promoted. Promotion to peddler. Now we are a peddler. We peddle our services, I guess. I'm not sure. The next kind of mission that we want to accept is some a little bit more dangerous missions but they do pay a bit more let's see got some transport work going i don't imagine you'll find this too taxing too taxing so how does this look 900 lights like, no i'm not going back just to do that if you're looking to get some use out of i hope this goes better for you we're not going to do assassination missions just yet a time sensitive transport job if you're interested transport Take care of this and i won't forget enough Okay, so here's a bit of 3,000 light seconds for a transport mission. Absolutely not. All right, let's see what this guy has. This job done, and you'll make some people very happy. This should answer any questions you have. Hmm. Eddie, maybe not. Your help. I want to do some salvage missions. Ah, no missions yet. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, I, with any luck, you won't. Not yet. You're missing out on a hell of an opportunity. I'm not good with that kind of combat I'm yet. Here, Commander. All right, mission board, um, procurement, I'll salvage. Yeah, let's take a look at salvage. These do pay quite a bit of credits. So, see, this one is on the same planet, which I think is good. We need to salvage this vehicle schematic, apparently. Let's do it. I don't think... Anything will go wrong, even though I've never tried this mission in my year of playing Odyssey. Up until now, I've mostly just been playing Odyssey for the sights and sounds, and for all of the extra stuff that it brings, but now we're actually getting the full experience with it. We're going to be taking out our little buggy, our little rover, um, and we're going to be salvaging, salvaging stuff. Now, my mega brain method of dealing with hostiles is car hostile. Car hit hostile. Alright, I don't see any contacts, so I don't see anything, in fact, so we're gonna enable the night vision. I kinda see the crash site over there, the little blip. I like the SRV bay visuals, looks pretty nice. Alright, let's take a look SRV, night vision. All right, where is it? There it is. Whoops. We might need to use the arc cutter. I'm not sure at all. I have never played this kind of thing before. Ooh, there's some cargo canisters. Some boxes. Hmm. Ah, we got it. Got the vehicle schematic. Ooh, is that a panel? I think that's a panel. Ah, there we go. We can get a power regulator. Very nice. Alright, grab all of this. All of that. Open up the regulator drawer. Take the power regulator. Very nice. Um, what's this? Ah, another panel we can open. Circuit switch, microelectronics, micro transformer, all of these things we can trade um, at the bartender. I want to trade it all for graphene. Except for the power regulator, of course. We're going to need those. Maybe in the future, but we're going to need those. Hey, it's a cargo canister. Oh, 
All right. Anything else? Let's see the other wing. Is there anything on the other wing? Any panels? Yeah, there's another panel. Ooh. That was the pilot. F. Alright, we're gonna take the power regulator from the other panel. Um, from this mag lock over here. Get another power regulator, apparently. So that's nice, I think. I'm not sure if there's anything else around here, so I'm gonna do a final check. Um, seems that the only thing around here is the pilot. Let's do a scan. We might be able to get some kind of bounty voucher. All right, no bounties. Okay, that's the regulator drawer. There's nothing there to be found. This is the eagle, the door of the eagle. I think that we're done here. Nothing else to be found. No more panels. Whoops. Drive assist off. All right, I have no idea what to do over here. I think we accidentally jammed the SRV into the ship. Oh no. We're gonna hold R to launch, then see if the SRV gets unstuck. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear deployed. All right, let's try that again. See if we can get the car back into the ship. Ah, there it is. You can even see the trails of the car. Nice. Let's board back into the SRV Scarab. All right. Now let's see if we can get back into the ship properly. There's the ship. And now if we make a little turn around here. Uh, hold Q. No, we gotta go back. Up. Oh. Go a bit forward. Hold Q. And board. Yeah, that worked. Worked pretty well, I think. And we're back here again at Chamberlain's Rest. Ooh, there's another commander in this instance. How would you like to earn some credits? You might have to oh, seven. Let's take a look at the terminals. 115,000 credits. That's a bit more than a delivery mission, I think. I'm gonna head back into my hangar. And see what happens. Let's see, maybe, maybe we'll get some extra credits from that 10,000 credit opportunity. I mean, we've already got 200,000. What's an extra 10,000 10, gonna do to us? They are literally inviting me to do one frameshift jump for 10,000 credits. And off we go. Goodbye, moon. Goodbye, rainbow rings. Off I go. And we're gone. Incoming mission critical message. All right, drop out of super cruise. Perfect. And here we are. Docking successful. Can we turn in the mission? Ah, we can. Nice. An extra 10,000 credit. Let's see. One reward. Hmm. Why is it not working? Ah. 
Ah, it says it worked, but did it really? I think it did. I'm not sure. But now that we're here, I think it's a good time to do final mission. We're gonna do a combat mission. But first, we're gonna need to swap out one of these pulse lasers for a multi-cannon, if they even have those. And we're also gonna go to the station's bartender and see what we can trade for our stuff. Let's check out. We've got a pulse laser. It's not bad, but I want a multi-cannon. The sizes are too big. We're gonna check out um, EDDB to see if there are any um, size 1 multi-cannons, which is the ones that we need. But right now, we're going to head into the concourse. Now, we're going to take a look at EDDB and see where's the nearest station that has a size 1 multi cannon. Stand by. Okay, that's a gimbaled pulse laser. I was worried that it's not gimbaled, but that's fine. We're going to be replacing one of them with a 1G gimbaled multi-cannon. Very nice. Here it is, our little multi-cannon. Alright, so we're going to be doing this mission. Um, it's got a 24 hour time limit, about 4 times more than most on foot missions. We can get 200,000 credits, which is effectively just doubling my credit balance, so I think that's good. Good deal. And it's also not illegal, so we're not going to get any bounties or anything on our head. We're submitting. We found him. We found him. Where is he? Oh no. Alright, there is Rickard, the person we have to defeat. We can take down their shields first with our uh, laser. Let's recharge up the pulse laser. No. Keep charging up the laser while... Hmm. I mean, they keep charging up their shields while I'm recharging my laser. Alright, they're at 60% now. Ah, shouldn't have boosted. There we go. I'm getting their hull. We 
getting their hull. Alright, reloading. Ah, shields are back online. Ooh, we've got security forces. into a B-class shield instead of sticking with our E-class. Got him. Now we gotta refuel, restock, and we can't even repair. Alright, starport services. We can't even repair our ship after all of that combat. But that's fine because. Wait, hold up. Can we repair advanced maintenance? Yeah, we can't. Alright, we go back to mission board. We're gonna collect our. Collect our. Um little credit amount. And now we've got 374,000. That's a good amount of cheddar. Our reputation went down, I think. Did it? Yeah, I'm not sure. But um, that faction's influence went down in the system with the pirate that we just took down. And we also need to pick up um, our credits from the bounty uh, bounty voucher or whatever it was called let's see combat bonds is it here nope not this one is it administrative intel codex ah here it is we can redeem it for 85,000 credits now we've got 450,000 credits and I think that's going to do it for this video. Anyways, that's it for this video. We started off on a random planet in the middle of nowhere. Now we're on a random space station in the middle of nowhere. But we did stuff. And I think that's pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Did you enjoy the editing of this video? Or the overall pacing of this video? If you did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, also let me know in the comments why you did or didn't enjoy this video. Um, I always appreciate feedback, so yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.